Hi, I'm Ruth Bedore with Anoka County Public Information talking to you today about well water safety. And with me is Bart Birnott, an environmental health specialist with the Anoka County's Community Health and Environmental Services Department. Now, Bart, I understand if I live in an area that has city water, I don't need to worry about testing my water to make sure it's safe to drink. But that's not the case if I have a private well. That is correct, Ruth. If you are on a private well, you have to take measures to protect your own drinking water, which means doing a regular test to make sure the water remains safe to drink. So, Bart, you recommend that we test our water periodically. What is it that we're looking for? What we're looking for is the common problems, pollutants that you'll find in a well and in a water system. That is coliform bacteria and nitrate nitrogen. These two are commonly found in private wells and they're a good indicator that there might be other problems with the well water as well. But what about water filtration systems? Don't they take care of the problems? Water filtration systems are great for cleaning up the water and making it drinkable or making it taste good but it is not a good indicator of whether or not that water is actually safe to drink. It does not tell you whether or not there is a dangerous bacteria in the water. So testing is necessary. So Bart, how do I go about testing my water? Well, Anoka County makes it easy for homeowners to test their water. We have kits available in our office and we have also have our cooperators, our cities and the township, Linwood Township, that make kits available for them at the town hall and city hall. The first thing that you do is you want to wash your hands. This is a bacteria sample that we are sampling, so you want to make sure that you have clean hands while you're handling the sample container. After you've washed your hands, you want to start running the water. You need to run the water about five minutes, full blast on high, and while that water is running and you're flushing the pipes in the house and running the water to get a fresh draw from the well, you can start filling out the paperwork which comes with the kit. The paperwork where you give us the information on where you want us to send the results when we mail it out and the information on the bottle or on the bag, the container, so that we uh, have the right container which matches with the person who is doing the test. When you're, after you're running the water for five minutes, you want to take the seal off of the container and you want to fill the container. That's usually when you want to turn the water down a little bit. You don't want to have it full blast so that you can collect a sample but not overfill and splashing water. Once you have it collect the sample, then you seal the container or screw on the cap or close the bag so that you have a good closed and container and then you want to keep it cool. Bacteria is something that you want to keep in a test cool so that you don't have bacteria growing on the outside of the container. Once you have collected the sample, you want to put it in a cooler and bring it to the Anoka County Government Center where they, we will take that in. Now we take samples on Monday all day and Tuesday before noon every week. If there's a holiday that falls in that week, you really should call before you turn in a sample because we may not be available to take a sample during that week. What's the cost? The cost now is $30 in 2011. You do not pay for the kit, but you pay when you turn in the sample for the analysis. And how long before um, I can expect to get the results? The turnaround time on a water test is usually two to three weeks. What happens if the lab report comes back and indicates that I have a problem? If you have a problem, we are the first ones to see it. And if we, there is an indication uh, of a problem, we will give you information. And if there is a really bad problem, you'll get a telephone call. So make sure that you put down a telephone number on your information sheet so that we could get a hold of you. And we could talk about this as well as send out uh, the information in a letter to you so that you have immediate answers and what you can do about something that you found in the water sample. So it's just that easy. And it's that important. For more information, go to anokacounty.us water.